All right. I delayed it long enough. Let's actually do this right. Oh, shit. I forgot the song for a sec. I didn't want to look back at the list. Okay. There we go. I delayed this long enough. And since it's this dungeon, well, I'm going to make an exception to my only on St. Patrick's Day rule. That's right. I'm breaking again. Because <laughs> it's this place. Oh, God. So, it begins. You ready for my least, one of my least favorite dungeons in Zelda history? It's definitely my least favorite of all the 3D Zeldas. Well, I guess it's not as bad as the Bre original Breath of the Wild's dungeons, but still. Take the hookshot of the turtles back after you play the song with the Zora, and we go in. So welcome, everybody. This is your host, the MJ406. And if you're unfamiliar with this place, oh boy, this dungeon sucks balls. For everybody who thought the water temple in Ocarina of Time was bad, come on, into the rift, into the rift, yay, let's get washed away, woo! Oh my god! Ah! Well, that's what you deserve. So, yep, you see them get flung off. I probably should have done it that way. Because, well, only the turtle can enter it. Don't worry, I have the power of my hookshot. I'll stay on just fly. Don't you worry about me. It's time for the Great Bay Temple. Oh. It's kind of device that people think this is worse or better than the Water Temple from Ocarina of Time. I'm one of the ones who thinks it's worse. Because this one is tragic. Also, let me get the fire arrows ready. So, yep. I'll just say this. You probably want to set, like, a whole cycle. Just make sure you have enough time to be able to do the, uh... Dungeons. Never try to knock out a whole dungeon in, like, less than a day of any of your cycles. You definitely want to do these when you have the time and know-how. And speaking of which... I still have my great fairies! I haven't shown you the shrine is, but again, doesn't matter. You don't need it to be able to start these. So, yep, great fairies, you know the deal. 15 to find as always. Also, I don't think there is a, uh, another stray fairy in here, but... There are regular fairies in here. You know I should capture one? That might be helpful for me in case I get careless. Worry about that, like, you know, another! Went out of the water. The stupid white. Oh, bombs, I need those, thank you. So, are you ready? Let me get my Zora mask back on, you're gonna need it. So, for all of you who thought the water dungeon was bad, well, here's Water Temple 2.0. Whoa, that's a huge water wheel! Looks like it's turning because of the sheer force of the water coming through the pipes! This place is awful. Ah, yes, there is another fairy in here, I see. So, yeah, hopefully you know how to do water traversal. It's not only the water that makes this place a nightmare, just the dungeon's layout as a whole is painful. This is the dungeon I was looking the least forward to. Once we get through this, though, most of the hell of this game will be over. I got through a lot of the painful side quests, not all of them yet, but a lot of them. Ah, oh, these two things move like a scale, right. But either way, this dungeon is not fun. It is not nice. It makes the water temple look tame. I hate this place so much. Especially trying to hunt down all the frickin' great fairies. Oh, hunting down the great fairies is the worst. Oh, so here's something to note. You may need to push some levers underwater, so make sure you have good use of the Zora power. Time to drink. Because you can redirect the water flow to go to more areas. So in every room, be sure to check out underwater, because, well, you never know what you'll cover, such as another straight fairy. So, yep. Get comfortable, folks. This is going to be a long one. Maybe it actually won't be that long, but it's going to be painful. 
So, join me in hell. Oh no, you got me. Oh god, you cornered me. Bro, don't corner me. Well, there we go, I got that at least. Another one in here? Nope, looks like I got them all. Okay, to the other side. Oh, jeez. Are you trying to die, asshat? Come on, man. Try to help evolve your gameplay, not make it worse. Oh, my God, bro. Mm. I was going to remember to go back to the Scarecrow song. I do need that for a couple things. Oh, and the other thing. The water spouts are timed. They come up and down. They don't just stay up the whole time. That would be too easy. No. You gotta time your jump so you can land on them right. And you gotta make sure you actually run into them so you can run on them right. Uh, I may not be able to do my second run of the Andrew Cafe side quest. I'm working the Don Garrel one. Screw it. I can knock it out in the next cycle. It's fine. I'm not worried about going over a second cycle. Alright. Alright, for real? That honestly makes me angry now. That honestly made me angry. Just get up there and stop falling off the spout! Oh, already I'm getting peeved. And it's just started! It just started. It's already bad. Yep, get used to this. Do I have to be the Zora to do that? Is that what's up? Am I doing that wrong? No, no, it doesn't feel right. Now, I guess it's not a bad idea to always be a Zora in this place. So I'll try that. Maybe that'll help me jump better. Either that or I have to jump on with the water spout. Is it spewing? Yeah, that makes more sense. So jump on the water spout. Is it spewing? Got it. There. Jump on that. Now you can ride fine without being blown off. Now you can jump across. Okay, I'm being stupid. I'm sorry. So yeah, know your platforming. Know how to use the Zora mask, especially. Because you'll need it for this place. Especially for the giant central room. Hmm, I get it. Each water wheel is powering the, this thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this water wheel room. Why is there the giant circular rooms in this game? Why do they do this? Why? Why? Oh, they give you magic. It's like they know I'll need it because it's fucking Zora's. Were you trying to... Bro. Also got water spout spewing. Can't go there, so don't bother. Not till I make progress can we actually go up there. Yeah! Well, at least the Goron mask will still be useful a couple times, too. So punch it! Thank you. And there are other fairies in this place. But I wouldn't worry about hunting them down for a while. So... You ready for the really annoying part of this dungeon? Here's probably the worst part. This room! If you come down here, you'll notice... Oh, gee, look at all these tunnels I can go in. Some are gated off. Some are still open. Which way do you want to go? Well, we may as well try to find out. I guess I'll go through the top one here since I can see it. Basically, there's a lot of current in here. It sucks trying to figure out your way through this place. Because of all the current. So basically, you know, you're battling the water in here and to try to figure out how to explore this place as well. So yeah, there's a lot of reasons why this place isn't fun. You got a lot of underwater enemies, because of course you do. So, you know, I would say explore in your own time. And again, should be pretty obvious. Yeah! Explore in your own time. What kind of advice am I trying to give? Not good advice, apparently. Just remember your hook shot. That'll be a very valuable tool to help you explore this place. And now I got the dungeon map, thank God. Mm. I need that dungeon map. And now I can see the whole way out of this place. Which I definitely feel like I'm gonna want. Hey you, get over here. Yes. Yeah, it Get over here, bro! There's no way I'm going over there for you! You're going over there here for me! Huh, what are those spots? That's another thing! You notice the glittering spots in the water! You might be able to guess, but we'll need to do something with that later. Alright. I can only frickin' fight when I'm in the 
when I'm on the ground when I'm underwater. Man, want to use your magic to fight off the hands that are in here. All three of these biotechnical babas. Remember the underwater ones? Yeah, they are here. So, be ready for them too. And don't forget, you may need to hop across the water. So, make sure you got the, your Deku mask ready as well. I'll say this. At least this game keeps use of all your masks throughout the game. Which is actually pretty helpful. How'd you go away, huh? Oh god, I don't like how that ended. Oh god! Ah! It's like a spider! That flower bug turned to a spider! Well, kill all of them, you get a reward here. You can probably guess what it is. Give your stray fairy, please. At least you got six of them already. So, you know, know your way around. I think this is the way I want to go first. Because I know there's something I want to get. I'm basically trying to figure out what way will get me to the item of this place first and fastest. There's your exit out. Try not fall in there if you don't want to leave yet. Ow. Do you mind? Apparently you do mind. Fine. If that's where you're going to be. I'll just kill all of you then. There we go. By the way, I'll kill you assholes. So yeah, look at these things. They're monstrosities. And you're lagging the game real hard, bro. Yeah, believe me, that is the game lagging. It's not. It's not the capture or anything like that. That's the game, man. That's the game. So you know, just be prepared for a lot of annoying battles and all that. A small key! I have to go underwater for! How neat. Ow! Did I just bomb me? What a jerk! Jeez, don't see me try to bomb you all the time, assholes. But yeah, don't take that current until you're ready to leave. So until then, I'm not gonna worry about it. Man, who designs a dungeon like this? Seriously, it's just a real jerk move, all the stuff you're doing. And here's our compass. Good. Now I can know where the treasures are, so I know where to go. I mean, it's not the weapon of this dumb dungeon, but it's close enough. It's the ultimate weapon of exploration. Boo. I can't go in there yet, so I did kind of waste my time on this way. There is another great fairy here, but I guess I'll worry about that later, unless I can see something. Nah, I can't see anything. Yeah, we'll worry about it once I can actually explore more of this place. Underwater! Ugh. And yeah, no matter how hard you swim, you cannot go against the current, so... You're gonna flung back out. And there are some areas you can only go in and not out. That's kind of what some of the vents are for, and the gates basically keep you out of other places, so... This is the way you want to go first if you want to get everything in this dungeon. I guess the quickest manner. Ow. A shell blade! It's impossible to beat it if you aim for anything but its ligament inside the shell! Yeah. So you can also use your fins to guard. Never forget, you always have a shield basically in every single form. Goron uses his arms, Zora uses his fins, and the Deku Scrub has like a giant protector that it can put over itself. So they always have protection. I wouldn't worry about that, honestly. So, yeah, don't worry about that part. All right. Let me try to go upward, I guess. Yeah! Not that it helped anything. Because this room's kind of a dead end as well. Well, I try to go up the room anyway. So, I guess I'll just go this way then. Another tunnel! Oh, jeez! It's blowing me out! It's blowing me out! Uh-oh. Huh. So where to, I wonder? Where to, where to, indeed? Isn't that the mystery of this place? You can't tell where anything is! You can't tell where to go anywhere in this place! I fucking hate it! Like, they really do not make this simple at all. I must have missed a thing. Alright, that already didn't kill everybody. Hmm. Is there a surface up here? I can go up too. Nope, that's a ceiling. You idiot. 
Well, oh, there's a place I climb up to. Okay. Note these stupid octa rocks. Oh, you look like the rock that it spits out. Which is pretty simple as long as you use a shield. But you have to do it standard, the standard way. So, yep. Oh, right, I have to climb up here. That's what it is. I'm remembering slowly what I have to do around this place. <laughs> How about you die, asshole? Gee, you don't need to fly off, Boomerang. Jeez. Where the heck did it go? Whatever, I won't worry about it. Oh, we got the small key in that other room, so we did need to go there first. Oh, God. This feels like a mini-boss room, honestly. Ah, they're giving you arrows. Yep. Oh, and also, as you mentioned, hopefully you have your gilded sword by this point. So that way you can make jokes out of the enemies of this place. Trust me. You're better off trying to fend everything off if you can help it. And hey, guess what we're about to run into? Remember the gecko I fought before? I think we have another one to deal with. Maybe? I might have to hunt him down, yeah. What the hell? Oh, God! Never mind! Oh, hey! It's like a boss from Link to the Past! Remember it was the boss of that uh, ice temple, I think it was? And they brought this boss back! So, yep. Just like it working. Link to the past when you fought this boss. Use your arrows to kill the bubbles. You gotta use your arrow or your hook shot to fling them all off. Just kill them after they're flung off. You basically try to clear off your way so you can hit the eyeball. You can just go crazy arrows if you want. Basically, you're trying to make your way to being able to hit him in the eye. You don't have to hit him the sword if you're gutsy enough to just do this. Honestly, this is faster. He can't hit you, so... Besides kill all the bubbles the easy way, you can clear a lot of them and make it easy for yourself to beat this thing up. Woo! I'm glad that worked. Oh, no, it looks like... Oh, no, they, they don't reform it. He has a lot of bubbles, so... You do want to be quick. Heating up all these bubbles, though, will make it a lot easier so you can actually get clear shots in on them. So whatever's best for you to get rid of the bubbles, do it. That's exactly what I'm doing. Repeated spin slashes for the win! Alright, then. You don't have a lot left. I can easily take care of you now. Probably. Can you get a lock of the enemy thing here? Here's your opportunity to knock out all the bubbles. Especially because now it's going to fly around like an asshole. See, it's really repeating exactly what it did in Link of the Past. It's a wart. That's what it's called. Wart. Once you've gotten rid of those spears and shield the mean body, you can take the eye! So, yep. Once you hit it enough... Arrows in the eyeball, it basically starts charging straight ahead. And there we go. Now all that's left is your stupid eye. Just keep an eye on it and make sure you do not lose sight of its eyeball, I guess. Come on, then. He flies kind of frantically, so... I won't worry about it. And there you go! Dead! I'll admit that was kind of cool, though. It's always nice that they have, like, a throwback boss. I always find that to be kind of neat. There's not a fairy in this room. Okay, good to know. So, here's your weapon of the dungeon! If you remember the power of the last two, particularly the last one, you can probably guess what it is. It's an arrow upgrade! Now, you got the ice arrow! So you can freeze enemies and objects, aim wisely to turn shimmering water into icy platforms. So, yeah, I will say they at least make use of this arrow in this game now. For as large as a ex little extra goodie in Ocarina of Time, now they actually made it useful. So, you know, it's nice they at least did that. So, thank you. They don't mind me. 
I'm going to kill you. By the way, I haven't mentioned it. In case you're wondering why I don't do this charge attack, that's because it takes up magic. If you do the if you do the spinning around with the circle pad and then press the swing, the sword swing button, you basically do that full spin without wasting any magic. That's why I do it that way. Yes. Ow. You know, thinking back on it, I don't know why I thought that would work. Okay, so now we have the ice arrows. <coughs> Sorry. Now I can do this. You can freeze enemies that are in the water. And use that to basically take yourself up higher to areas like this. So, yep, you'll need it for extra platforming. Thank you for being useful. And now the ice here, I can go everywhere. Once I get all the water flow, anyway. So, if you can't tell, you're basically trying to get all the water to flow in this temple again. So, you can, uh, yeah, explore it all at your leisure. And now the water's flowing, I can leave this place with a clear mind. So thank you for helping, but no thanks, for real. You suck. And now I want to go back the other way. I went through the floor because now I can actually... Ugh, fine, circle me around. Now I can actually get in there. See, this place just loves to throw you. It's so annoying. It really is. Oh, now I have ice platforms. I can... Hey, keep, keep. Get off me, asshole! Can you leave me alone, asshole? Man, these guys are so rude. So rude. I'm just trying to swim and they're fighting me. Do piranhas have to eat everything they come across? Then again, piranhas are awful. There's one thing I know about piranhas. It's that they're terrible. Remember I told you about the shivering spots in the water? Use those to make ice platforms. And well, you can use those to traverse across the water so you can actually make your way over to new areas. And there's this. Oh, I see what that was for. Hey, how do you get up there? I don't see anything to climb on. What can we use? There's really nothing here besides that jiggly blob. Yep, that jiggly blob is exactly what we need, unfortunately. So I gotta get it again. Damn it, damn it. I realized after I killed it, I was like, oh, wait, I needed that, didn't I? Oh, reforms. Okay. Well, thank you for sticking around, at least. I appreciate the help. As much as I hate to rely on something like this. I forgot, I don't even have to roll it. I can punch it with a Goron in order to do that. So, you know, get this thing to come close. Ooh, choo choo. It doesn't have anything inside of it, so it's really just a blob of water. It's glittering to give away what its use is. So freeze it. So you may use it as a platform. It'd be pretty obvious, but there you go. In case it wasn't, now it is. Ow, I was gonna push it before you hit me! Damn it, I wanted to get vulnerable. I failed. I always do. By the way, now we have more water flow. Good. And now I have peace of mind getting the hell out of here. Oh, yeah, he thought after a while. Of course. As most pros and things do, they thought after a bit of time. And now, since I have the ice arrows, I'm going to continue forward to this place. It might be mostly for stray fairies, but you know what? I'd rather get them. Assholes. Leave me alone. Now that I can see where I'm going, the camera doesn't know where I'm going either. Man, I hate this place. Just the inconvenient water travel makes this place a nightmare to explore. It really does. Like, I seriously hate this place. Now, you fall too, jerk. Yes. Get back up here, damn it. Ugh, I gotta remember to call him back. I was bragging how much I knew about that, and then I keep not doing it. Yeah. All right, then. Let's go up there, then. If I have the power to climb up here, I shall climb. Oh, that's weird how much they have a lot of ice here. Huh. You know, for some reason I wasn't expecting that. Melt door. 
Thank you for getting in my way once more. Now, excuse me, I want my ice arrow back. So? Oh, there's the second gecko. Oh my god, he's so strong! I avenge you! Brother! So you have the gecko. It gets itself all worked up and then just, just runs around. I hate it! <laughs> You're not wrong. So? Beat the crap out of it. Power if you hit it, it does this. So then come down. If it grabs you inside the bubble, it'll basically beat the crap out of you. So. So when that happened, freeze it before there's a chance to come down. It may smash all over you, so you may want to try to find a way to get away from it. Either way, get him before he gets back into the bubble. But like I said, have the guild of swords, you can make quick work of this asshole. And see, I took too long, so I'm screwed now. Screw you! Get over here, asshole! Damn it! Damn it! Get over here! Damn it! Damn it! Oh, screw this! Fine, I'll make this easy. There we go, I should have done that from the beginning. The bunny hood will really help. It's like the previous gecko. There is, in fact, another frog from that gecko that forms. Ah, Doc Hero, it's been so long. Has Spring finally returned? Yes! Good. Done with that one, too. So there's another frog. That's annoying to go after, but I got him. So there we go. Great fairy mask, come back out. Not one in here, okay. Dang, I think the last room has a good bit of them. Are that one of the rooms I haven't really been to yet? But yep, this room is here for that, as well as the treasure in the next room. I'm pretty sure the treasure is gonna be a small key. I mean, it's either that, or it's a, uh, Boss key or a small key? One of the two. The boss key. That makes sense because it's a mini boss. So remember to come fight that gecko. And hopefully when you're doing this, you have the other frog take the other gecko taken care of back in the first dungeon. So you can actually do this right. There's a fairy in this room, though. Hmm. You don't say. I wonder where it could be. In that case, I should probably kill everything in this room. Get off me! Yeah, you also summon a barrier around yourself. I these things so much. That's right! I hit you twice! How that make you feel? Stop doing that! I have to find that great fairy in here somehow. Oh, you can also kind of tread along the water like, oh, geez. Oh, yeah, something else to note. You can drown after a while. It should be obvious, but if you're not a Zora, you will drown. So, if you're in water for too long, they throw a timer on you based on how much health you have left. Be careful about that. Where would that fairy be, though? I wonder. Maybe I could see something. I don't know. I'll check anyway, because I might find something. Not that I have any proof. But. Oh, what the? Hey! Oh. Uh, well, that was helpful. Not really. You know what I'm really great for this temple? A frickin' um thing of iron boots. But nope, they don't have that here. Don't remember how to summon it. Oh, there's an enemy still in here. That's the problem. Where is that enemy? I wanna kill him. I don't see him anywhere. Yeah, it's in here. 
Where is that enemy? Where is it? I hear it, but I don't see it anywhere. That's the thing I need to hunt down! It's somewhere in that water, it feels like. But I don't see it in there. Why would they do this? Ugh. I don't have time to be looking around for this thing. But, I also want to get that fairy. Ugh. Is there another way out of here or something? Yeah, there's a way to get up that path. Something like that. Oh, that's where it is. Stuxy here, just be careful! Look, it's not my fault you get too close and grabs you. Screw you then. Is that the only one? Oh god, still there. There we go, killed it. Ugh. Maybe I have to come around for another way. Jesus, I want to find a place to end this episode right now. I did uncover more of the water flow, so I may as well go up there. I have the boss key, so I can technically make my way to the end of this dungeon, too, if I wanted. The question is more if I should rather than if I will. I kind of want to go back to the beginning of this place and end the episode on the save statue, because... I want to look for the other frickin' fairy I can't find. That way I can just show me getting it as soon as we get back. Oh, I have to get over there. I may as well try to knock out that part of the puzzle too, since I'm here. Alright then. Can you make it? No. Ugh. I hate this place. Yeah, screw it. Let's go back to the save statue in this episode. I'm getting sick and tired of this place. I want to explore a little more and figure out where I'm going before I bring you guys back. It's better than hearing me whine all day, right? But yeah, this dungeon's a bit of a nightmare, especially hunting for those great fairies. You gotta know exactly how to progress if you want to be able to get everything done right. Unfortunately for me, I don't remember. So screw me. So come back next time. We'll explore more of this place, find everything, hopefully get to the end, and, well, get the next part get the next mask remains, as well as, you know, finish up other side quests I have remaining. I kind of missed the window for the Anju quest again, and the, uh, other thing I wanted to take care of, but you know what? It's fine. I can make progress on other things, so I'm not too worried about it. Just as long as I'm not stupid in getting through the rest of this place. If I somehow don't get through this before the second day's over, I'm really fucking up royally.